Hey Brickheads, Scott with 36 Bricks here, and this is my city. Let's check it out. Hello, 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 everybody. Hope everybody Buddy, is doing awesome. Ev I am doing great. Long time no see. Um, hold on, I can't hear myself. Hello, he yeah, there, we, there we go, there we go. Now I can hear myself. All right, how's it going, everybody? I am doing fantastic. Uh, it has been a long time coming, so sorry for uh, not being around and not hanging out uh, as much. Um, there has been a lot going on, uh, a lot of good, some bad, um, and uh, some progress, and all of that kind of fun stuff. So uh, first things first, first one to chime in gets to pick the set. That's right. First one to chime in gets to pick the theme and then uh, the set that I build. So, chime in, chime in, chime in. First one to chime in, let me know, let me know. Jameson, what up? What up, what up, what up? How's it going, my friend? You are the winner. You get to choose which uh, theme and which set I get to pick. So, let me know, let me know. I have uh, friends, I have city, I have... Uh, Marvel, I have, um, uh, a lot of stuff. Um, so let me know, let me know, uh, it's going well. Good, I am glad, I'm glad to hear that you are doing well. Um, that is, that is awesome. Um, let me know what you, uh, gotta go with Marvel. Sweet! Okay, so while I'm going to grab, uh, the, uh, options for the Marvel set, what have you been up to, my friend? What have you been up to? Uh, sorry I haven't been able to hit your streams in a while. Uh, as I said, uh, there's a lot kind of been going on. Uh, so I'm going to transition and let me know, uh, what you've been up to, my friend. Uh, all right. So here we go. 
All right, so let me see. Ooh, I haven't built that one. Um, I haven't built that one. I don't. Uh, let's do something different. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, my friend. You can see me. Uh, hopefully you can see me. Uh, you should be able to see me. Yes, you can see me. All right, so here's the three options, my friend. Uh, Jameson, it is up to you. So we have a Thor Love and Thunder, which is in theaters uh, this week, uh, this weekend. Uh, so it is uh, Attack of New Asgard, 159 pieces, 76207. We have the uh, Captain Carter and Hydra Stomper from Marvel Studios' What If... Set number 76201, 343 pieces. Or, or we have the Sanctuary 2 Endgame Battle, 76237, 322 pieces. Um, so, let's see. So, again, we have the san uh, Sanctuary 2 Endgame Battle. Um, we have the uh, Captain Carter Hydra Stomper. And then we also have the Attack on New Asgard um, from Thor Love and Thunder. So let's uh, head on over here. We're going to head on over. Check out what you got to say. What you got to say. What you got to say. Uh, my stream have been few and far between lately. I know how that is, my friend. I haven't. Um, I was looking back and I haven't streamed consistently since April. Um, I did a couple streams here and there throughout, but nothing consistent. All right, so you're saying Sanctuary 2. Sweet. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go now. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. One, two, three, four, up. I, I don't know the words to the rest of the song. I know it's, uh, I believe it's Beastie Boys. <coughs> give it away, give it away, give it away. No, it's not Beastie Boys. Is it? Who sings that song? Name it in the chat below. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Um, I've been, uh, I've had mixed feelings on this set, so I figured if I see, see it being built, I might go get it. Okay, live vicariously through me. I love it, I love it, I like it, I love it. I want some more of it. All right, so we got to get some music going. Um, let me see. Uh, s uh, since you're in here, um, <coughs> Lego Puck Boy, dude, it's been forever. I know, I know, I know. So Lego Puck Boy, what up? What up? What up? Uh, how's it going, my friend? Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. All right, so since you're the second one to chime in, you win, my friend. You get to pick what music we get to play. So you want to hear some hip-hop, some hype tracks, some synth wave. W what you feeling? What you feeling like? <clears throat> I got a feeling woo that tonight's going to be a good night. Tonight's gonna be a good, good night feeling. Woohoo! You went on vacation, and then my schedule has been crazy. Yes, uh, I um I went on I went on vacation for two weeks. Uh, we went to Disney World, and it was a lot of fun. Can you can you guys hear that? You guys can hear that, right? Yeah, you should be able to hear that. I don't know. It's been forever since I've uh, I've streamed, so I want to make sure it's it's been forever. Oh my God! What is the tall tower in the back? Oh, that's my Avengers Tower. You haven't seen that? That's my that's my Avengers Tower, Avengers Stark Tower. Yes. Here, I'll, I'll uh, so you can see it this way um 
the A is missing at the moment. But there you go. No, I've not. <coughs> yep. Yeah, that's my Avengers Tower. Still working on the details. Um, got a lot of the interior stuff still to do. I have to include the newest set. Um, it's freaking glorious. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me see. Do I have... Where's... Ah, well, this shows my whole city, but you can kind of see it. As far as how I stand next to it, how big it is. I mean, it's it's to the it's past the brim of my hat, and I'm six foot. So it's it's kind of I don't know if uh, this might be easier to see it. Yes, custom built. <coughs> Damn! Thank you. That's freaking glorious. No, I have not. Bro, that's amazing. Thank you. Custom build, right? Yep. Custom build. I can see your finished Cantina Hotel. Yeah. Um, that's over here. Well, it's it's finished to a point. I haven't added the minifigures in. I don't know. I know I'm supposed to be building, but I ha I mean, I haven't seen you guys in forever, so um so yeah, it's actually really heavy. I have I need to add the minifigures, um, and then it's officially done. <coughs> there's a lot. There's a lot that I need to get done. I mean, I've got my four boutique hotels to merge. All four of them are built. I just have to merge them now. Um, I finished the. Uh, the medieval times restaurant um, to a point. Um, I I've been working on the Mexican restaurant, which is this right here. Um, I I finished the friend's apartment. Uh, I've been working on my uh, my. Um, Stargates. I mean, I haven't worked on anything in a while. In, in forever. Forever. But I have the Stargates. The dual ones that I've been working on. It's kind of one of those I start working on something and then I get sidetracked and I and then I start working on something else. Uh, I can see your... Okay. Uh, hi. Woo, 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 woo. And you guys, you guys can hear the music, right? Uh, Stargate, yeah. I like I said, I've been. I've, there's so much that I've been working on, but then, like I said, I, the my biggest project right now, uh, dude. You need a to submit um, to ideas. Um, I would, but I mean, I don't know. I know that there's um, th so those Stargates are loosely based mm -hmm. off of. Um, one of the Lego Ideas sets. Um, there is a Stargate on there. So, um, yes, you can hear me. Sweet. Um, so, those I can't, I'm not going to steal somebody's idea. Um, I have, I have actually a set that I'm working on. That's another thing. I, uh, it's a digital rendering, though, um, that I've been working on. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking about submitting it, um, but then I'm also thinking about, like, if I submit it, then I can't sell the instructions. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> Is the music loud enough? Sorry, I think I just coughed in everybody's ear. But is the music loud enough? How many pieces was the tower? Uh, or you didn't count. I, d I did not count. Um, but I've got to say probably a good, at least at this point, uh, probably 5,000, 10,000, anywhere between there.
I would say a good between five and 10,000. Yeah, we can hear it, not overpowering, okay. That really is epic, yeah. Mind you, like, so the first floor is completely done with details, okay? Um, and I've added in, I mean, it's all tiled, so that adds to the parts. Um, and then the, the second floor isn't really done yet. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot to it, but there's a monorail through it. The monorail section is tiled, so is the sidewalk. And then, I mean, the bricks and stuff like that, all the windows. Because you got to remember, like, with these, like, this is technically two parts. You know, you've got a window part, and then you've got, or the glass window piece, and then you have the window itself. So that's why I'm like, I'm not really sure as to how many pieces. Um, but it is, it is a good number. And then, I mean, if you were to, if I was to pull this apart a little bit, it's all modular, so I can pull it apart. But if I just take the top off, ooh, baby, take your top off. Um, I mean, this in general, I mean, this is, as you can see, the Hall of Armor. It's all the, the Iron Man. That's the back of it. So, and then I've got the details that I'm putting in on each of the floors. And they're all shelves, so you can pull them out and show, you know, and see them. So, I mean, it's a work in progress. I'll just stick that in there. <coughs> oh my, baby. Oh, I was gonna look, since I have this out, is this a replica? Or is this a new, is this a new one? I think this might be a new one. Um, no, it's not. It's a, it's a duplicate. Oh wait, wait, let me see. Yeah, it's a replica. It's a duplicate. They suck. I want new Iron Man. I've got some duplicates in here, but I'm, I'm trying to go for like every single one being different. And I think I'm, oh, this is, this part's a beast. Dude, I have no words. Why not? What's up? I've been working on my city. It's always working. Every city is a work in progress, my friend. My, so that's the thing. So right now I am building a a shed. Um, it's a 16 foot by 16 foot shed. Um, it stands about 20 feet tall. Um, about 15, maybe 15, between 15 and 20 feet. I haven't actually measured. Um, <coughs> and that is going to house all of the stuff that's not Lego in here in my garage so that I can expand it um, because I want to expand my city to the fullest. So that's why I haven't really been putting my city together is because I've been working on the shed and that takes up a good amount of time because I'm, I'm doing it on my own so um, I really like the new Iron Man base piece uh, the new which which piece are you talking about are you talking about the helmet that comes up like this oh the helmet that comes off it's that if you're talking about that and then oh really oh, there it is. and then the, the base piece that way um yeah, it's, th that's actually been around for a while. I mean, it's not 100% new. Uh, in fact, I need to change my scene. There we go, so you guys can see me build. <coughs> As you can see, my, my desk is a mess. Because I like I start like I said I start working on Todd stuff and Snow then I for, like I get sidetracked. Oh hey, about to start a. Um and then you know it. I I mean I just I start working on something else and yeah, that's coming with the new sets, with the new printing on the faceplate. 
Do you have a picture? Can you send me, can you whisper me the link to a picture? Uh, I've been, to be honest, I've been out of the loop because, I mean, I was at Disney World for two weeks, um, 15 days to be exact. Um, so, like, I haven't been, I'm not up on, like, all of the, all of the news. So, if you can send that, like, whisper me the link so I can take a look. That way I know full on what you're talking about. Um, Because I really, all right, is the ad over? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me find it. Sweet. That'd be awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Like I have, so as far as the shed goes, I have um, the awnings to do, and then once I get the awnings done, tire, tire, hard paper, shingles, and then door, and it's done. I might build some she a shelving for it. Um, I just got to see what the wife wants, um, and then. And then from there, I can start moving the stuff, this stuff out, and everything else in. All right, I see your message. Um, let me finish this, and I will look at it because I want to see what you are referring to. I think I got that set. But I didn't see what's the new what's the new printing. What's the new print? the new print though. I'm trying to see <coughs> what's the new print? Face was reprinted. Oh, I'm not. I'm just not seeing. See, they don't actually show. They show Tony Stark's face, but they don't show his uh, the Iron Man face. There is two Iron Mans though. There's Mach Three, and then there's Mach Eighty Five. Uh, actually, there's uh, Mach 25, Mach 85, Mach 3, War Machine. It's more detailed. Okay. I'll have to take a look when I... You guys got a sneak peek of my hall hangout that uh, I'm going to be doing with my members. I need to, I need to uh, let my members know... And I, I can do it. I'm waiting for some parts and stuff to come in, but there's 
customs has been a there's been a delay in customs. So yeah, I did this right. And then I'm flipping it over. Okay. I guess once you open it, you can tell. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a look. It looks, to be honest, it looks like the same print as far as this one. Um, what does this one say? You see, this one, it just says Iron Man. It doesn't say which, um, which mark it is. That's the one thing I don't like as far as what they're doing is they're, for the Iron Man sets, like they're not showcasing which, which Iron Man version it is. I wish they would do that. But I know why they're not doing it. They're doing it because they're not doing it because they don't want people to be like, "Oh, that's not a new Iron Man. Um, I don't. I'm not gonna buy it." I mean, to be honest, that's what I would do. I don't know Lego be weird sometimes. Yes, uh, Lego is definitely be weird sometimes. I agree with that statement, like 1,000% agree with that. Ooh, there's a printed piece. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. Oh, because it's a sticker. Where's the, where's the stickers? I'm not going to use the stickers on this set because I don't know that I'm not going to take this set apart once I review it. Did you enjoy Disney? Um, yes, um, to a point. There were some issues here and there, but I did. We did have a good time. Yes. Um, they have a new Guardian. Crap. They have a new Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Holy shit, that's epic. Like, it's a cross between, uh, see, I don't know what rides you've been, you guys have been on, so that it's hard to compare it, but it's like, it's, it's called Cosmic Rewind, it's at Epcot, went on it, uh, four times, oh my gosh, it was good, good ride, good ride. Um, I don't pick stickers, I put, put stickers on most of the time unless I'm keeping the set built. Yeah, that's, that's kind of my, my mindset as well. Legendary Diamond, what's up? Hello, hello, hello. How are you? How's my girl? I am doing great. How about you? How you be? How you be? Oh. These, that's where the one by threes go. Is that right? How you doing? What's up? I'm doing well. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, how's your how's your city going? Um, I know that you. Um, I I think the last time I checked in with you, and I apologize that it wasn't that it hasn't been in a while. Last time I checked in with you, uh, you I think you had finished the assembly square. Um, I can't remember if you had picked up any other modulars. I think maybe the police station for your birthday or anniversary, something like that. I'm not, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Getting stuff ready for Hub's uh, shoulder surgery Friday. I hope for 
for good reason, and it's it's gonna make things better. Um, everybody's saying hi. Out, sending him. Uh, yes, sending him lots of love. And happy belated fourth, everybody. Happy belated fourth. I, I tried to send out messages and, and all the discords I'm a part of. Wishing everybody a happy, happy fourth. Hope you guys all had a happy, healthy, and safe fourth of July. I did just finish Marvel Blacksmith. Ooh, yes. That, you know what? I, I think. I think you you might have been um, building that when I checked in one time. Uh, how'd you like it? How'd you like it? I messed up again. Hey everyone, it's Tony Romo, and I'm here to rem Bye, Tony. Um, what's your Discord so I can send you this pick? Um, the uh, the only Discord um I have unfortunately is for members only, um Jameson. So um unfortunately I can't give you access to that, uh unless you were to become a member. Uh, but you um you can whisper me. Um, you can whisper me the link. Or a pick, the link to a pick. Um, if I was a pressure salesman, I'd be like, join my Discord, join my Discord. Um, but yeah, you can, uh, you're more than welcome to send me stuff as far as pictures and stuff. Oh, what's the pick? Exactly, what's the pick? See, you're teasing everybody now. Such a tease. Um, the mock Iron Man figure. Oh yeah, yeah. Send me the send me the link. Just like Lego Puckboy did. The only reason I didn't bring it up on the screen is because I had the set in my hand. But if you send me... Um, if, you, if you send me the picture, I'll bring it up. If it's cool enough. I mean... <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'll, I'll bring it up. Mm, ads, be right back. Well, you know, members don't get ads. Um, <laughs> I only said that because he couldn't hear it. <laughs> if you guys all have ads at the same time, then none of you can hear it. I'm back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Uh. Oh, you can't even hear the music. I'm just grooving to silence. Sorry about that. I had an ad myself. See, I suffer through ads just like you do, so I appreciate all the love and support for everyone that, that jumps on and listens to the ads, puts up with them, all that, and all that jazz. So, um, Legendary, what's your next build? Uh, it's all good. I just like uh, to let the streamer know that I'll be missing 
some of what they say. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I appreciate it because I'm, if I'm if I'm talking to you and then you can't even respond or hear what I'm saying or, or anything like that, then I end up repeating it. So I appreciate the fact that you're letting us know. I really do. So um, what I what I was going to ask, uh, or what I kind of asked, um, just as you went to ads, I believe, is uh, what's your next build? Uh, what do you what are you building next? Or is it a secret? Is this music is just a smidge loud, friend. It is. Okay, turned it down. Okay, sent. Got it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, you know what? I have seen this. I have seen this. I have seen this. So, let me bring this up. This is what he's referring to. Um, hold on, I need to resize the window. Sorry. Give me one second and I'll show it. There we are. I have seen this. Uh, and it actually looks really, really cool. Ooh. Uh oh. There we go. Um, but yes, so this looks um, like a maze balls on so many levels. Um, I have seen this. Um, and it's not. Although I am a big Marvel guy, it's not my cup of tea in respects to me building it myself because it is a display piece more than it is like something I could put in my city. So that's where like when it comes to this kind of stuff, I don't like I don't build a whole lot of it because um, it just doesn't work in my city. So. But it is cool. It is it is definitely cool. Well, it's a printed piece. So and and I see what you're talking about the back. I don't know if you can see my cursor. I could like the four studs on top. I'm not a fan of that. They could have rounded that off somehow. Um, I and I think it would have been better. I don't know if there's other pictures. Yeah, see. That just, it looks too boxy to me. They they should or could have done something better with that. And the back, the back looks really flat. Yeah, it is a mock, it is a mock. And it, you know, every, all, Typically, all mocks are better than what LEGO produces because uh, mock builders will um, will put a lot more detail in it um, versus uh, LEGO designers, um, and it's it's just a financial situation. You know, LEGO wants to keep the part they want to keep their parts uh, down Wait. Uh, oh they, they want to keep the price per part you know they, they want to how do I phrase this they, they want to maximize profit and I, in, in a sense, I mean, I know business, so, uh, you know, I'm not hating on it. Uh, I might not like it because I'm buying the stuff, but, you know, it is what it is.
uh, diamond. It's three Lego sets just uh, or built in one. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's kind of what I've seen this guy do. Uh, what guy do? Who do what? <coughs> you. Oh. <laughs> Any more progress on the shed? Yes. Um, I was talking about that a little earlier. Yes. So I now have... Um, I did one of the awnings or the overhangs um, today. It got too hot and I finished the siding. So um, basically what I have left is once I get the awnings up, um, then, and I've built basically one side, I have to build the other. It just got too hot. Um, so I have one, uh, I have to put the awning that I built today up. I've got to build the other awning on the other side and then put um, um, plywood over it and then uh, tar paper, shingles, and then a door, and then I'm done. Um, so I'm hoping to have it done like this week. Um, I am making a very good progress on it. Um, Today's Wednesday, so tomorrow I'm hoping to get finish the uh, the awnings or overhang, get those up, and then start rocking out the shingles. Um, those are those are going to be a little difficult, uh, just and, and time consuming because I'm doing everything myself. Um, so I have to you know grab the the shingles, take them up. You know I have to lay the car tar paper myself. And then bring the shingles up. Woohoo! I know you wanting to get that finished. Yeah, I was hoping to get it finished in the spring, but that didn't really work out. But it's all good. I mean, I'm out there. I'm breaking a sweat. I'm losing more weight. Um, and, uh, and going from going there from there. I mean. <coughs> Picks when you're done for sure. Yeah. Um, of course. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm recording it, so I'm doing a video. I'm doing videos on it. <coughs> oh, missed that. Uh, but I'm posting those videos on YouTube. So if you're not um, a YouTube subscriber. Head on over, exclamation mark uh, YT, and that should give you my YouTube channel information. Tomorrow, Spotify listener, and then Trevor uh, Wallace, head on over there, check out um, the, the little progress that I've been making. I'll probably uh, do a quick short right after the stream if it's not too dark. Um, that way you guys can see it. Sweet. Uh, I may have to do a lurk in a bit when Hub gets home. Uh, he's bringing dinner. Ooh, what is he bringing? What do, what do you guys have for dinner? We're having a, like a, a steak dinner, I think. My, my wife does, um, the, like, home chefs and stuff like that, so we ordered a bunch of stuff for when we got home so that we didn't have to, like, worry about going to the store because we just got back... Uh, we've only been home a week and a half, so it's been, you know, it's been a whirlwind trying to get back into things. I have no idea. It's a surprise. Ooh, a surprise! That's awesome. I love surprises. 
but yes, so um, <coughs> so definitely um, making progress on the shed. Uh, I don't, uh, there's not much more to do, and then I'm done. Like I said, I, I pretty much, I have to finish the awnings. I have to um, uh, put the tar paper and the shingles on, and then build a door. And then that's it. And then I can start moving all of the stuff that I have in here into there. I might end up rearranging my setup as well. Because um, I do miss looking at my big screen TV. So I do miss that and not being able to, to do that. <coughs> Just because, um, like, when I walk around, I can't see what's going on and I like seeing what's going on. Not sure if you saw what I'm rebuilding it's a time killer for sure what are you rebuilding are you doing mocks are you doing a mock no. yeah what are you rebuilding previous chat post what Your Discord? Is that what you're talking about? No mocks. Rebuilding three in one cafe pet shop. Did I miss? You have a lot more channels in your Discord. didn't miss any Discord picks though. Oh, okay. So rebuilding the three-in-one cafe and pet shop. Nice. Why are you, did it fall? Like, why are you rebuilding it? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm so out of the loop and I'm really, I, I'm really sorry for that. But you must check out the clip Recon 108 got from my last stream. It's about pie. Ooh, pie. What kind of pie? <coughs> I will have to check that out. I love me some pie. You know, the first movie m me and my wife ever saw together was American Pie. What an awkward movie to see with, with someone for the first time. It was a lot of fun, though. That's kind of our movie. Uh, took it apart, was going to build the bank, uh, started it, and then stopped. Uh, decided to go back to the cafe and uh, pet shop. Okay. Uh, gets the awkward out the, w uh, the way. Yeah, it does. It, it definitely does. It, it was funny. So, um, you the story a little bit so me and my wife uh, obviously uh, I we we met each other online and <coughs> um, there was a back in the day um, before MySpace was a thing it was called it kind of started off as um, 
as, col uh, as a site called College Club. And it was for basically registered uh, college um, students. And I was new to the Fresno, California area. And uh, so I started just randomly messaging girls uh, in the area just to kind of get to know people, um, find out who people were and all that kind of stuff. And so I messaged her and we got to talking. And then um, one thing led to another. And a couple months later, um, she's like, what are you doing right now? And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm talking to you. And she was like, uh, you want to hang? I can come get you. Because at the time, I didn't have a car. So I was like, yeah, sure. Come get me and, you know, and we'll go hang out. What do you want to do? And she's like, I don't know. I was like, well, like, do you want to go to a movie or do you want to go grab food? Like, what do you want to do? And she's like, no, I don't want to do any of that. I just want to hang. And I said, all right. <clears throat> so um, I said, well, do you want to watch a movie? Because I, I love movies. Um, you know, I can I, I have a bunch of VHSs. So, I mean, I can, I can bring a bunch over. And she was like, yeah, that's fine. So I started naming off all the movies. And then I got to American Pie. And she was like, well, I haven't seen that. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to let you know it is it is a very sexual movie. Is that okay? And she's like, yeah, that's fine. And I said, okay. Um, so she took me back to her dorm room and she laid down on the bed and I sat on a chair uh, right beside her and uh, we watched the movie. No freaky stuff or anything like that. We just sat and watched the movie. Um... Killing time, holding out for August 1st, Sanctum, Sanctorum, must have. Absolutely, absolutely. It does look good. I, I saw the official pictures of it. Um, it does look really good. That, uh, I already have one, um, but um, what I'm thinking is, who gives a shit? I'm going to buy another one. Um, I don't know that I'm going to, like, buy two and combine them, because, quite frankly, money is tight right now. But I may buy it, hold on to it, and then eventually buy another one. But yes, that is it. It look it does look awesome. It it really does look awesome. <coughs> it it does look short. So I would say like I would definitely make it taller. But that's just me. Because I think it's. It's two stories plus the roof. Um, it doesn't have the basement in it. Uh, sorry, spoiler if you haven't seen the movie. I don't have the police station yet, but that can wait. Yes. Um, I would... I mean... I. You know, I, I haven't been shy, uh, legendary, uh, about letting you know, like, what you can, you should kind of get if you're into them. I know you're into the modular buildings like I am now. <clears throat> I would definitely suggest at this point, the Sanctum Sanctorum, yes. The Birch Bookstore, if you can get a hold of that, that is a definite, which I, I think you actually have, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, you have Assembly Square. The next one would be uh, Police Station, Boutique Hotel. Yeah, okay. So you're on a good path. I'm a big Doctor Strange fan. Awesome. I don't have the Police Station yet, but I can't wait. I have the bookstore. Okay, okay. I couldn't remember. So yeah, if you have the bookstore, because that's going to retire this year. The Assembly Square, they've said is going to retire this year. Uh, but to be honest, they said that last year. So, not, not sure if that's going to officially happen. Uh, I have Boutique Hotel still in the box. Okay, Vintage Taxi 2. Ooh, I didn't even get the Vintage Taxi. You, you, got, you got a good find on that one.
I know it was a GWP, but it didn't come out with the set, which is stupid. Tide presents Laundry Truths, Cold Heart Savings. Bye, Cold Heart Savings. I agree, you're going to love the Boutique Hotel. Um, I have four of them that I'm going to be combining. And I'm pull I already have all four of them built. Um, but now I just need to combine them. Because I like the overall look of it. Um, but it just needs to be bigger. Teaser, I ended up with two. Not, ooh, you ended up with two taxis or two boutique hotels? Um, Hub's called, I got a dash, lurk. Really, you're gonna leave us hanging like that? Got gotta go see a two tax oh two taxis oh okay i was gonna be like dang girl you're gonna be mocking you bet you know if you're combining two boutique hotels those taxis look great it's just i didn't i i didn't like it was only on the modulars like if you bought a modular you've got one and it's like well i already have all the modulars and i should like i mean come on hook it up See you later. Have a great dinner. Good seeing you. Thanks for hanging out. I really do appreciate you. So, Puck Boy, <clears throat> what do you, um, I can't, did you, ma man, my brain is going, what are you, what are you working on, uh, now? Are you, have you been, I know you said you've been working on your city, but, like, what builds have you been working on? Anything exciting? I mean, I'm sure it's all exciting, but. <clears throat> Shop at the moment and Mills plates and lighting. Oh, you're going Mills plate, huh? You're going Mills plate. Wait, this doesn't make sense. Okay, I have this backwards. If a company wants to sponsor me, I will gladly like. I will 
I will be more than happy to light my city. I'll start my grand boutique next. Nice. I heard that tone. No, Mills Plates, um, Mills Plates and lighting is amazing. Um, don't, don't get that part twisted. I'm actually, I'm, uh, I like Mills Plates and I've thought about going Mills Plate. Um, I, as I kind of mentioned, unless there is a company out there with that uh, light, like Blinky Bricks or something like that, that wants to sponsor me, and I will review their products, they can send me all the light kits, and I can review their products, and uh, hopefully gear up some business for them. Um, but I just can't, I can't afford to light my city. Um, I mean, when you're talking, you know, even 10 bucks a floor, usually it's more than that. But when you're talking 10 to $20, $20 um, potentially, even if it was 10 to $20 a bill, um, I mean, my buildings, I have, I have about 50 different buildings. And if it's like, you know, 20 bucks a building, I mean, you're talking $1,000 of lighting, just that. But those are average builds versus minor bigger builds. So, I mean, it's probably more. No, um, I have an issue with the, the guy that is a big proponent of the Mills system. Um, I call him Voldemort. And if I ever meet him in person, I will probably go to jail. Um, <coughs> but, um, no, the Mills Plate system, I, I do like, um, and if you're going lighting, it does make sense to go Mills, because you can hide the wires. However, I would recommend, okay, and this is just me, uh, but doing a modified Mills. Um, and make it thicker. So all of my builds are actually geared towards changing them over to mills. Um, all of, I don't use regular Lego base plates. It's the only thing in my Lego uh, city that as of right now that is not Lego is the base plates. Um, my plate, the base plates that I use have clutch on the uh, uh, underneath so that I can build up. Now, uh, what I was gearing at is I would recommend doing a modified mills where it's thicker because right now it's a plate, it's a, um, a base plate, a brick, and then plate. I would double the brick, okay? So if this is your, this is just my recommendation. Obviously it's your city, you can kind of do what you want. But I would, this is what I would recommend your mills plate look like. And I'll tell you why. Because that when I, if, if and when I do go mills, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to be, a, uh, I'll do a modified mills. Okay. So. So. This is what I would recommend. So I would recommend doing it like this. Okay, so you have that much, it's gonna take more brick, but you have that much more to play with. Okay, so, so brick too high between the plates. So yes, two bricks high. You can go bigger if you want. Um, but I would recommend this, okay? And here's why. Because when you, if you want to do detail stuff, like if you want to do, like, city, like, if you turn mill a ro road plate, that could act as, like, a sewer system that you can add in 
um, you can make it so that it's it's thicker so that if you want to do shrubbery with a little stream it's thicker um, also it gives you more room for the wires um, I mean the wires aren't that big but sometimes they slide around or you need room for air interesting I never thought about that yeah so you know if you're so say you're doing a, a subway okay you actually have that much more depth in your mills plate as a kind of a sod going down to, to a subway to um, like a, the stairs or something like that going down to it so you have a little bit more to work with if you're doing you know steps or something along that those lines um, but I find that it's also in doing that it's a it's a lot more stable if you ever have to move your mocks uh, I can't remember if you're into displaying at conventions and, and events and stuff but this is like this is sturdy you know this is sturdy as well you know don't don't get it twisted but like this will end up being super super strong so that's why that's why I'm suggesting that so you you have the freedom to do a little bit more if you double the brick than you do if you single the brick because that's not a whole lot of space right you know you can fit wires in but if you're trying to do a little bit of detail work you know there's a little bit of space but just by adding that one brick on each again it's more parts so you know you're adding the that extra layer but you're getting so much more out of it by doing that because you have that much more space now to work with i i would love to display at shows someday well bringing something this thick you know this is going to be i mean the mills plate system in itself is is really sturdy but um, that's that's just my recommendation re recommendation my friend you get a lot more depth out of it you get a lot more details that you can add in as far as like I said as far as streams um, as far as uh, you know sidewalks you know gutters curbs you know all of that kind of fun stuff um, you get a little bit more um, you get a little bit more out of it if you did a modified mills <coughs> I appreciate it a lot no worries glad to help Okay, so, oh. Oh, okay. But yeah, that would be, that would be my recommendation. <coughs> Again, it's more parts because you're having to go one more brick high, but in the long run, it's going to give you um, a lot more room. Uh, I'd love to talk more about all of this off stream, but it's hard to find city builders to chat with. I, 
I've told you in the past. I don't mind talking. I don't mind helping. <coughs> we can set up a Google Meet. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I'd be down. Sweet. Just let me know. At the low cost of fifteen hundred dollars, no problem, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What what's a Google Meet? It's like Zoom. It's the same as Zoom. That's all it is. It's basically a Zoom call. If you go to Google, it'll say um what does it say? Uh, not Gmail. It's not what I wanted. But I can get to it. That's just the same. In the, so if you, um, Uh, sorry, I've gotten like a ton, a ton of messages just now. Um, yeah, uh, I'm free any day pretty much. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so if you go to Google, uh, where it has the nine dots, you scroll down and there's a, like it says Google Meet, or it says Meet, and then it's basically just a virtual meeting. It's it's just like Zoom. It's just Google's version. That's all it is. I mean, kind of Google started it. And then Zoom just kind of, you know. Google's just not as public with it, I guess you can say. For whatever reason. Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah, all it is is basically a Zoom call. Are you reviewing on uh, YouTube now too? Uh, I've always done reviews on YouTube. I haven't done a uh, done any in a while. Um, but yes, 
I do reviews um, and all of that on YouTube, and then I stream here. I used to stream on YouTube as well, uh, but the I kept having issues with getting flagged for content, and uh, they kept overturning it. But when your when your um, channel gets um, flagged for content, then ad revenue doesn't happen, and they don't push your um, your videos as much. And it's not, it's, it's never been about money for me. I mean, yeah, money helps. I mean, I'm, I'm an out of work wedding photographer, but, um, but it's never really been about that. I mean, I've been, I've been monetized, but that's mainly because everybody kind of wanted me to. <coughs> um, but it's more getting to know more people and hanging out with a bunch of new people and all that kind of fun stuff. And when I started getting flagged, my videos weren't being, um, weren't being pushed and I wasn't, I was literally losing people. So, um, so I switched over to Twitch and have been having fun there or here I should say I feel I've done two weddings in the last year uh, I didn't know that you you didn't know what that I was a wedding photographer yeah no I'm a wedding I'm a professional wedding photographer um, pre-covid um, we were doing about 30 weddings a year Um, uh, we do photography, video, and photo booth. Definitely knew you was a photographer know that you was on yeah um 36 bricks on on youtube um i'm just at i'm close to 2000 subscribers on youtube uh if you exclamation uh, exclamation mark yt uh and you'll get my youtube information exclamation mark yt Yep, that's my YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Click um, and click to get notifications too, please. A lot of people forget about that and then they subscribe and then they never see any videos because they're not. It's so stupid how they do it, to be honest. I never understood it. Am I missing a piece? Oh, no, I have it in my hand. I'm stupid. Thanks, you. No problem. <coughs> yeah, uh, you can see a lot, like, you can see a lot more of my builds on YouTube. Because that's where I post my YouTube builds. Oh, I haven't had music on this whole time. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, random gear. Hello, hello, hello. Random gear bear. Uh, how are you, brother? Uh, I'm good. How are you, my friend? Welcome, welcome. You know, I haven't been pushing the buttons. I apologize. Welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, and you can't even hear it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me start that again. Welcome to my house. I bid you well. How are you? Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Doing well. Can't complain too much. That's always a good thing. Um, you're a first.
first time um, first time chatter so uh, tell us about yourself what you're open to discussing uh, what do you like to build uh, and all that kind of fun stuff um, since you're new I don't know if you've uh, been following me for a little bit or if you've subscribed um, to my YouTube but uh, I'll show you my city real quick so this is my part wall uh, you can see part of my city right there um, but that is my part wall uh, then um, here is my uh, backlog wall uh, along with some uh, projects that I've been doing and then last but certainly not least uh, this is my city it's still a work in progress it's a big mess right now because I am building a shed to get rid of all of my uh, my stuff and um, uh, that is not Lego in this is my garage and I am currently building a shed so that I can transfer all of my stuff over to uh, my shed and then I can expand my city. That is very impressive. Well, thank you. I gasp at the backlog. Uh, I wish I could do that. <laughs> you, you, what, what part do you wish you could do? Uh, just have a backlog or do you wish uh, you had some of the sets that I have backlogged or did, do you wish you had an area for backlog um, or all of the above <laughs> splain Lucy splain <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, oh. there we go this is where the find that stuff comes in so again thank you for being here uh, hope you, you like what you see and consider following uh, and subscribing. I do have a YouTube channel if you want to check that out, uh, exclamation mark YouTube, or if you were here, you can scroll up um, because uh, Puckboy just uh, did it. And I, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, he just did it, so you might be able to pull the information there. Yes, I wish I could just have Lego uh, on deck to build. Yeah, I have a lot. Um, I have a lot of projects. Um, as you can see, kind of behind me here, uh, I, I have been working on my Stark Tower. Um, I have four boutique hotels that I'm merging together. I have a museum to build. I'm doing a Mexican restaurant that I need to build. I want to do an underwater area, which is going to be under here that I need to build. Uh, I have a hospital to rebuild. Um, I have all the new sets that I have. Um, I mean, I've been working on, I don't know if you like Stargate, but I've been working on like Stargates, um, which are right here. So a lot, a lot, I, I've kind of been, um, you know, um, do you have or will be getting the Daily Bugle? Yes, I do have the Daily Bugle. Uh, I combined two of them. So it's um, I gotta see where I'm at. So you can kind of see uh, mm, right there. So you can see my uh, Mos Eisley's Cantina Hotel. And then right next to it is my daily bugle. I combined two and put a monorail through it. Um, so it's five stories tall plus the roof. Um, and then, yeah. Right, like I said, my city is kind of a mess. But it's because I'm building a shed and when I complete the shed, I will be moving a lot of stuff out so that I can make my final expansion. And I will probably be moving things around. Four hotels together? Damn, bro. Yeah, and they were all free. Well, kind of free. So all four boutique hotels I got with VIP, last year's VIP points. I had over 100,000 VIP points last year. 
and I bought four of them with the VIP points. I, I actually ended up with a hundred and a little uh, around 120. I had ninety dollars in VIP points or nine hundred dollars in VIP points. This year I don't have as much. Um, I have about twenty-seven thousand VIP points right now, which will get me one of the new modulars. I save up my um, I save up my VIP points all throughout the year. I don't spend them, uh, and then when the new modular comes out, I spend them on that because I know I want the modular, and most of the time I want more than one. Um, so I end up. I end up getting a couple or when there's like a, a big set and I don't really have a whole lot of cash and I, but I usually try to save up the points all year long oh heck yeah that's what's up yeah, I mean, so everything, as always, is a work in progress, you know. All right, and these are all the shooter pieces. All right, so here's the set. There we are. It is the Infinity Saga uh, Sanctuary 2 Endgame Battle, 322 pieces, um, three minifigures. It comes with Thanos, Iron Man, and Captain Marvel. Um, great set. Um, really enjoyed the build and enjoyed talking to you guys. And since I haven't been on in a while, I'm going to keep this bad boy rolling. Um, so, Lego Puck Boy, you picked the music. So. What I'm gonna do is, uh, Legendary isn't here. Um, she was the next one to chime in. Um, so uh, since she is she is not here, I she can't pick. So uh, random RGB. Um, what would you like me to build next? Um, so this is what we how we do it. Um, the th that this is how we do things when it's viewer's choice. Is you get to pick the theme. I will pick out three sets from that theme. Uh, show them to you and then you get to pick out what um, set out of those three options. So random gear is it gear bear? Random uh, RB uh, RGB um, You get to pick the theme and then you will get to pick, pick the build I have um, city I have friends I have Marvel um. <clears throat> Anything that uh, speaks to your fancy? drop not working? I guess my drop game isn't working. That's weird. I probably have to redo the code since I haven't. Anybody still with me? Yeah, it's not working. Drop game isn't working for whatever reason. I think I think I have to redo the code. 
Tide presents laundry trucks, <sighs> cold hard savings. I don't need Tide. Okay, let's try the drop again. There it is. But it's, oh, but it's not showing the... Why isn't it showing the pool? Does it show now? There it is. There we go. One more time. Oh, denied. All right, cool. 
Okay, so, um, random Gear Bear, I uh, guess uh, you're not here anymore. That's cool. So, Lego Puck Boy, what do you want me to build? Since you're here. Oh, here's my Avenger. My Avenger sign. One of them. The other one's around here somewhere. Uh, what do you think will be the new modular next year? Um, what do I think it will be? It'll probably be a restaurant. We haven't gotten... Uh, what's the choices? You pick the theme, my friend. So, you pick the theme. I have Friends. I have um, Marvel. I have... Um, let me see. Let me uh, let me head over. Is that that sign tile built? Yes. Yep. Yes, it is. Uh, all right. Let me go over to my. Let me go over and we'll see. All right. <coughs> All right, so I have Marvel. Um, I have city sets. I have uh, dimensions. I have Lego ideas. Um, I said friends. Um, I have some r regular generic Lego that are not themed. Um, I have some creator sets. Okay, so to recap, I got, uh, I'm just doing smaller sets. So I got Marvel. I got um, Creator 3-in-1, Friends, Lego Ideas. Um, I, I mean, I do have side over here. Oh, I have Harry Potter. Um, those are the options. Okay. And then the random, like, classic. Um, love it. Oh, city stuff or ideas. Okay. Um, this technically goes into the hall hangout. Okay, city stuff. Let me see what I have. Um, I have a cement truck. I have the uh, picnic in the park. Um, Lego ideas. I only have... stuff I've already built, actually. Um, let me see what I have. Oh, I have um, I have the Safari Off-Roader in City. Okay, so let me pick out three. Okay, and then the cement truck. Alright. So, here's your three options. I have the Lego cement truck. I have the picnic in the park, and then I have the safari off-roader. What would you like? Those are the only ones that I'm showing right now. I have some of the new sets, but those are in my whole hangout. So, um... Picnic in the park, cement truck, or safari, um, some, uh, safari off-roader. 
Ooh, the off-roader. Okay. All right. Now, I've already opened this set because I pulled the lioness out of it. But everything else, and I think the bird? I don't know. I can't remember because of the zoo. Let me see. One, two. Yep. The bird's probably still in here. <coughs> I am not going to um, do the stickers because I'm not going to have have this as a um have shoot, where, what am i thinking i'm not going to have this as a safari truck to get the well I need to expand my zoo actually did you enjoy the zoo build I loved the zoo build one it was a community build so that was a fun that was fun we had a few entries on that and then um, so that made it really fun and then but I have to expand it because um, because they just came out with the giraffes from the friends line that I need to add in there and there's a couple other animals that I have um, how's the museum going it's not it's not so um, I haven't I haven't posted an update yet been meaning to uh, we didn't actually get a single entry for the museum so uh, there was there was no bill nobody nobody submitted So, um, I will probably do one at some point, um, but we will see. <laughs> but yep, unfortunately no one submitted a, a single build, so um, it's kind of been put on hold. Yeah, the bird is still in here. I love the idea, though, so much. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, like I said, I will do one. I will do a museum at some point. Um... I, I did have a few people that were that showcased interest in submitting, but they just couldn't get it done in time. So I might revisit it to, uh, and and try next year. I'm missing a head. Oh, there it is. Um, but but yeah, unfortunately, no one submitted. I had two people tell me that they were interested in building and submitting, but um, unfortunately no one actually submitted. In fact, <coughs> uh, I had I had 20, 28 people vote for the idea, but unfortunately no one submitted. We had five submissions for the zoo. And then I did the rest. Time is hard sometimes. Yeah. I mean, I did give people enough time. I showcased the build, I think, in February, and then it ended uh, June 1st, so um, a couple months. We had voted on it ahead of time, so, but, you know, it is what it is. It's okay. We'll, 
do it. Uh, I'll do it at some point. Like I said, I got a lot of projects. A lot of projects. I mean, uh, for the community builds, um, like there's been several that I've wanted to do. I've thought about a, a mall. I've thought about um, a hospital. I've thought about... Um, it, it, it essentially comes down to anything that you can modularize into smaller compartments so that people can submit. Like, um, a buddy of mine is doing an art gallery, so you submit an art piece, but he's not doing any kind of, um, what's it called, uh, prize or anything. I was doing a prize because I, I'm not big on free, like, I don't want people to feel like I'm just trying to get free Lego. Like, I do have plenty of Lego, so it's like I wanted to do fun, something fun, so I figured... Whoever sends in an entry or sends in a submission is entered to win a gift card. I built an art gallery. I tried getting submissions too. It's uh, it's tough, I think. Well, it just I mean it 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 varies. Um, to be honest, um, I'm a little disappointed just because here here's the thing. So I had three options. I had posted on YouTube uh, three different options, and the one thing that makes me sad is the fact that um, there were like 30 people about 30 people who um, voted for um hey brickheads let me actually get the emails okay so uh five months ago i had submitted what do you think my next community build should be 44% said, out of 32 votes, 44% said mall, 50% said museum, and then 6% said hospital. Now, the only thing that kind of bothers me about it is like, okay, so 50% of the people said museum, so that was 16 people that, that voted for museum, but like the people that voted for mall, like since nobody submitted for the museum, I feel like that was a detriment to those who voted for mall because if no one, if people had voted that were actually going to submit, that number might have been less, and then the mall would have gotten chosen, um, and other people might have been more apt to participate. So that's the only thing that kind of, you know. I, I guess you could say irks me about it because I want people to participate. I want people to have fun with it. Um, and so if people are voting and then not participating, it kind of, you know, it, it, it kind of hinders those who wanted to participate, but opted that wanted to do something else. If that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense. I guess it, it, what I'm getting at is those who vote but don't participate hinders the participation. I feel like you are. Okay.
So that's all. I mean, if people aren't interested, I'm okay with that. Oh, you, you know what I think it is? Oh, uh, yeah. I was wondering, I was like, oh, it's still still looks off. I think people in the community also get overwhelmed with all of the stuff going on. Too, it's gotten so busy. Yeah. I hear you on that. Maximize your potential Jeez, with Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard. One see the Bricklink sets that got approved? The Bricklink sets? You mean the designer program sets? Are you talking about a round four? Or are you talking about round two, round one, round one? At round one, round two, round three. Which ones are you talking about? three of the sets um, I'm excited I, I got the uh, observatory um, the construction site and then um, shoot what was the third one um, I didn't buy anything round two round one I bought, or sorry, I didn't buy anything round one. Round two, I bought um, the bowling alley and the Venetian houses. And then round three, um, designer program. Oh, and the train station. So I bought the construction site, the train station, and the uh, observatory. Those are the three that I bought. Round two, I bought the bowling alley and the Venetian houses. I didn't buy anything in round one. I got the train station and the diner. Nice. Yeah, so that's what I got. Um, I, I Round two, I didn't buy anything round one, but if I had bought something, uh, a, the, original, the original plan uh, for round one was to buy the um, observatory. But they took it off last minute. So I didn't end up buying anything because I already have, I probably should have bought the, um, the Lego store, but I already have a Lego store that I mocked out. Um, so that's why I didn't like, I didn't buy it. But that, that Lego store, I could have easily built it to something else because it does look like an awesome build. However, the instructions are all online, so you can part them out and build them yourself. Uh, I 
got the train station and the diner. It needed rework, they said. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I should, like, like I said, I should have bought, um, <clears throat> I should have bought the, what's it called? Oh, no, sorry, round one was the castle in the forest, the fishing boat, the sheriff's safe, uh, pursuit of flight, and, uh, cockapoo. Um, I didn't want the castle in the forest because I have the castle three, the three in one castle, and the other, the other four sets. I'm like, eh. the fishing boat is kind of cool, um, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't end up picking it up. But you can download the instructions and build it yourself, so I might do that. Yeah, it's a it's a great set for sure. I mean, it looks great. I'm just you know I don't have um, you know I will have a water area. I just don't know how big it's gonna be yet. Like the Lego Idea sailboat, that's kind of big in itself. So that's why I'm like I'm not sure if it'll be too big because I don't I don't want a whole lot of open water for my city but the the fishing boat is nice I just didn't buy it so I'll have to I'll have to Yeah, I have. I got a few of them. I have a couple of the sailboats, so, and that's also why I'm like, I don't know if, you know, if that'll be too big or what. But I hope they keep going with it. I hope, but the the issue is that I'm seeing is, I mean, those sets were like chosen two years ago. Or those went through like two years ago. So it's like, and they're producing, they're, pr they're, they're going through rounds like crazy. So they need, like if they're gonna continue to do it, which I hope they do, um, because that I, I honestly think that's just that just means more modulars for us. They they need to step up their game with it because they're they're behind. I think between ideas and the Bricklink program, it's great for mocker and builders to get official sets made. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's it's a it's a secondary format that because they're only producing one. See, that's that's the thing. They're doing too many rounds. That's where I find like they're going to struggle, and they're struggling to keep up because it's taking so long to produce like. Like, if we're, we should get two of these rounds a year. We should get one in the fall, or one in the spring and, and one in the fall, okay? So, if that's the case, then they need to be Johnny on the spot with picking whatever sets are going to be included in the designer program. 
and I feel like there's they're they're lacking on that because like I said I mean they're just they're just behind on the gun they're they're behind I mean we should already be seeing the next you know few rounds so that we can prepare for what you know if they're if they're doing 10 sets per round and five of them get chosen we need to be seeing the next round sets so far so that we can prepare for it but i mean i don't even know what rounds these were from I mean that's that's the that's the issue is you know that's the issue that I'm seeing right now is explore Yeah, so the modular construction site, that that got not approved a while back. It doesn't say when it's not when it got not approved. Last updated six years ago. So I mean that was that was six years ago. The office. Ghostbusters HQ. Why would somebody uh, that obviously wouldn't get not uh, get approved because they already built one. Hmm. Quest Builder, I think, was in one of the Lego. That um, X Mansion looks really cool. Market Street, that would be cool. Modular train station, okay, we're getting one of those. Yeah, so these so these went through like the the Lego Observatory. That one is the last updated six years ago. So yeah, these these sets were from a long time ago. So it took them forever just to get them in the rounds. So like they need to kind of be Johnny on the spot when it comes to getting the new stuff. You know, we should be seeing around four soon. Squeeze every moment out of um, summer and getting mango, information fruit, on Starbucks that. Refreshing beverage. It's a combo of sweet mango and full yeah. dragon fruit flavors for a vibrant, refreshing.
Maybe when the new factory opens, that help. Yeah, I'd like the market. Yeah, modular train station, Jurassic Park Visitor Center. That would be cool. I don't know what I'd do with that if I got it, though. See, the diner, that was like six years ago. Yeah, so, I mean, that's that's the downfall that I'm seeing is they're not producing these fast enough. Modular library? Ooh, but that didn't get approved. Like, that sucks. So, uh, like, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that we, you know, start seeing some of these sets. In a round four, a round five, a round six, you know, something. Wow, six years. I'd like them, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so those those three rounds were, you know, showcased five years ago, or not five years ago. Um, those were showcased. Um, you know, three years ago, and then we finally got the rounds. I think well, f last fall was round one. This spring was round two. Or no. Last summer was round one. Uh, I think it was January was round two. And April was round three. Something like that. I can't remember. But yeah, I'd love to see more of them. Like I said, I think I think they're on on a good track because we're going to see more modulars. I think we're going to see more cool builds um, because you know they just they just got to get on top of it. They they really got to get moving on them because you know I mean round two hasn't even shipped yet and it's been you know six to nine months something like that i got an email they're supposed to ship um i got an email uh for round two that they're supposed to ship uh in in august it says it's on back order which they always say and then it's it's supposed to ship around august and then round three is supposed to ship in spring of 2023. So that's taking too long. Yeah, they're not just slow, they're slow, slow. I agree. But I mean, that's that's the thing. They need to they need to be pushing harder on it. They need to. I mean, they're only producing 10,000 sets. I mean. That shouldn't be, I mean, granted, there's five of them, but, I mean, so that's 50,000 sets, but still, I mean, there it's a 10,000 run. I mean, you can't tell me that they can't produce 10,000 sets in, in a month? Get on it, Lego. Get on it. I mean, so, you know, from from order time frame, we should be seeing them a lot faster, and we're not. Um, going back to your question, though, uh, what do I think the next modular building will be? Um, I know I kind of mentioned I think it's going to be a restaurant we haven't gotten a restaurant since Parisian um, the Parisian restaurant I would love something cool like a Jamaican restaurant or uh, African kind of themed restaurant an Indian themed restaurant 
Um, but I think I think that's what we're going for, or they're they're probably going to go for. That's just that's my prediction. You don't think they can what? Produce 10,000 sets in a month? Oh, this goes out one. Crap. You done messed up it. No, how does that? How am I supposed to do that? Oh, because that's not that size. I'm, you done messed up AA wrong. How do, where's, um. Did I not? Well, I guess I don't have that. Oh, there we go. You done messed up AA Ron! Produce ten thousand a month. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, I th I think it's going to be a restaurant. That's my prediction. Now, does that mean I want that? No, I would prefer a something along the lines of a. Um, is this an error? That's a little too tight. Oh, I have these backwards, that's why. I'm like... Um, I would love a hospital. Um, I would love a post office. I would love... Uh, and and uh, when I say hospital, I mean a full hospital. I've said this before. What they should do is uh, bring out a hospital system um, to where... It's, um, they, it's similar to Harry Potter where they have, see that's still, oh, it's because it goes the other way. He can be taught. My boy's wicked smart. Um. Yeah, I think they should do what they did with the Harry Potter line. So you come out with ten sets, all different types of hospital esque, because you have maternity, you have um, you know doctors' offices, you have uh, a pharmacy, you have. Um, you know, uh, an operating room or OR, you have ICU, you have radiology. Uh, I mean, you can come up with 10, you, a lunch room, you know, um, but you can come up with 10 different sets. Even if it's not 10 and it's just five, you can literally like, and then put them to bring them to, and be able to put them together like the Harry Potter Hogwarts castle where they're all different compartments, but they're modularized so you can stick them together. That's what they need to do for a hospital. And I've already put that in uh, my buddy Boone. He, um, I've already like talked to him about it. I was like, hey man, if you can get this going, like I'd love you to death. I love him to death anyway, but he, he's good people. But, um, but I, but he just got a, a designer job for Lego, so he's moving, and I was like, dude, uh, I'm not, I don't want to be that guy that is like, hey, can you get them to produce this? Make every but I'm day so gonna be that guy that's like, hey, can you get them to produce this, or can you design this and see if it'll go through? Like, <laughs> <clears throat> but that's what that's what they should do. That's what they should do. They should be. Um, doing 
something similar to the Harry Potter Hogwarts castle where it's 10 different sets or five different sets or whatever that can all be combined and made into one big set because a, a hospital can't be done it, it really you can't give it the same justice trying to build it in one set than um than trying to do 10 different sets like you do a fo you do you do a main set for the front facade you know that's cool but then everything above and beyond that you know needs to be smaller sets it really does that's just my opinion I think that would be amazing, yeah. Because then, if you wanted, you know, a huge, ho like, doctor's office wing, you have, you have the option to do that. You can buy five of those sets and build one big doctor's office. Like, you have the option and capability of doing that when you do stuff like that. If you want a you know, cafeteria area, you can buy two of those sets and make a big cafeteria. You know, if you want a big radiology department, you can buy four radiology sets and, you know, and put them together. I think they haven't done a hospital because of COVID. I think that, I wouldn't be surprised if they haven't, if they have one in the works. But, but like I said, they, I mean, they did come out with a hospital set but it's a small set. I mean, I have it. I have two of them. It just it just doesn't do it justice. And, and creating it as an expert modular, like, because they stick to the three, you know, the three floor modular design, they stick with that. So that's why I'm like, they're never going to do a hospital. If they do a, a hospital, it's more, it's going to be more like a doctor's office, like a standalone doctor's office more than it would be a hospital. And technically, we already got that in the corner garage because there's like a, isn't it like a dentist or a, a, a veterinarian or something like that in the corner garage? I'm kind of curious because... <coughs> Um, 2022 was the 15 year anniversary, uh, January 1st of the, of that line. So I'm kind of curious as to what, um, they're going to do for, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that they're planning something big for the 20 years since they did assembly square for the 10 year. So that's intriguing. Cause that's about five years away. I think the first modular when did Cafe Corner, when did Lego Cafe Corner come out? April of 2007. So yeah, 2007 marks 15 years. Or 2022 marks 15 years. So 2027 marks 20 years. And I ha you have to assume that they're going big with that set. They have to. It'd be dumb if they didn't. So, <coughs> I'm, I would love for them to do a post office. I would love for them to do like a bus depot. Um, but I don't think they'll ever do a bus depot because that just doesn't make sense uh, for the expert modular. 
Um, I would love for them to do uh, a proper um, a proper uh, um, I think they'll probably do a doctor's office at some point. Sorry, I, my, I realized because I've been building the shed, my nails are just nasty. I know, this is glorious entertainment. Me doing my nails. Um, oh, post o a post office would be really well uh, good. They should have gotten the hint because everybody turned the pet store into a post office. Like, Or I, I know a lot of people did. Um, they could do like a, an antique store. That'd be kind of cool. Um, they could, you know, implement, you know, forest, uh, forest, uh, or, or knights and all of that kind of those gems in that. Um, I mean, they could do every restaurant. So, I mean, you can do an Italian restaurant, um, an Indian restaurant or Middle Eastern Mediterranean restaurant. Um, a butcher would be really cool. Um, a butcher shop. Lego is slow on hints. Yeah, uh, abundantly. So, um, I hate to do it, but I'm going to call it, um, it is almost 6.30. I'm sure the wife is, is fixing dinner. Um, Lego Puck Boy, where are you at? What time is it there? A nightclub too? I don't think they're going to do a nightclub. I don't think they would do a nightclub. Um, just because technically, you know, nightclubs aren't family friendly, but they could, I mean, they could do it. Technically we could do it. I have some pieces from the friends line where it has like figurines dancing. They're like hologram things. So you can do it. I mean, they've, they have the stickers and stuff. I have a couple friends that have done, um, Oh, you're in Texas. So right now it's like 9 or 8, 8.30. Okay. You going to be up for a while? Uh, maybe after dinner I come back out and we can do a uh, a meet, meet up. Or are you going on later? Maybe in like an hour or two. I don't know if you're going to be up or if you're streaming later. <coughs> I'll be on late tonight, like 2 a.m. Oh, you're streaming tonight at 2 a.m.? So that's midnight my time. Um, well, if you want to fit in a, um, a Google meet, meet up before then, hang out, talk about stuff, but I don't know about in an hour message me. Yeah, I can message you in, in like two hours or something. Cause I have, I, I've got to eat. So that's going to take an hour, hour and a half, depending on when dinner is ready and all that. So, all right, guys, I'm going to head out. Um, I, Lego puck boy, I will message you. Um, when, uh, it'll probably be in like two hours or something at least. Uh, and then I'll come out, uh, I gotta, I gotta do some videos for the channel. So, um, I'll probably come out here and film, film a few things. And then if you're available, we can chat and go from there. So let's see who we can, um, who we can, uh, raid into. I haven't rated into anybody, so I think I'm going to start with the top of my list and go down. So Amish Ace is on. I haven't. I know I haven't rated into him in forever. 
So I think I'm going to, yeah, just hit me up. It depends on family. No worries, no worries. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and raid into uh, Amish Ace. Like I said, we haven't raided into him in a, a very long time. So get those emotes out. Have fun. Let's show him some love. I'm going to cut off the music. <laughs>